know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder I'm Hayden, and I'm glad you're here. I'm being a super kid today, and I'm going to rescue all these animals. One down, but I have more to rescue. I want to help all these animals because they need my help. Look at how many animals I help. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Hayden. Who? Who? Rescuing animals, are you? Yes, Ollie. I'm being a super kid and helping animals today. Helping others is wonderful. It's true. I have a story about a very brave helper for you. Listen up. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through, follow me through hell. I've got a Bible story for me and you. Great job, Stormy Jane. Is that the last one? Oh, hi, friends. I'm Carrie the dog walker, and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. It's so great to see you. Stormy Jane was just being a really big helper and picking up sticks in the park. Here's a treat, girl. Thanks for your help. Oh, speaking of helpers, that reminds me of a great story. Do you want to hear it? Well, today's true story from the Bible begins with a queen named Esther. Queen Esther was one of God's people, and she was a super brave helper. Then there was Haman. Haman worked for the king, but he did not love God. Haman had a plan to do something very mean to God's people, Esther's family. One day, Haman tricked the king into making a plan that would hurt all of God's people. Oh no! Everyone show me an oh no face. Oh no! If the king hurts God's people, it will hurt Queen Esther's family. What is Queen Esther going to do? Well, when Queen Esther heard about Haman's plan, she was so <laughs> sad. She knew that she needed to help her family, God's people. She needed to go and talk to the king. Queen Esther also knew that you needed a special invitation to go and talk to the king. She was afraid because she might get in big trouble for going to see the king without being invited. What was Queen Esther going to do? Well, Esther asked all of God's people to pray with her for three days. And after they prayed, Esther was brave and went to see the king. The king was so Yay. happy to see Esther and invited her to come talk with him. Wow, way to go, Esther. She was strong and courageous and got to talk to the king. Raise your hand if you want to know what she said to the king. <laughs> well, she invited him to dinner. Yes, Esther invited the king and Haman to dinner. Esther prepared a special meal for the king and Haman. And during dinner, the king told Esther to ask him for anything she wanted. <laughs> well, that's when Esther knew she could help her people. Esther asked the king to stop Haman's mean plan and save her family and all of God's people. And the king said, yes. Wow, Esther was brave and she helped her people. God helped Esther be brave and God can help you be brave too. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who can help you be brave? God can help me be brave. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can help you be brave? God can help me be brave. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Esther was brave and helped others, and you can be brave and help others too. Thanks, Ali. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, Esther was very brave and she helped a lot of people. 
I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Good. Helping others is so brave and it makes me feel like a super kid. I'm gonna go ask my mom if she needs my help. See you next time, bye. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. For the Lord your God goes with you. Deuteronomy 31.6 Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. For the Lord your God goes with you. Deuteronomy 31.6